like I've come across a number of different ways of doing this that I'm like, oh, that's kind of clever, where you can kind of use tagging in the back end. So instead of searching directly against a word, so instead of searching like uh, potato or like, you know, Ludwig. So like when I search the word Ludwig, I probably mean the streamer, right? I'm talking about Ludwig the streamer. So like what this would do in the back end is it would add tags to Ludwig. So it'd be like streamer, Atrioc, Cutie Cinderella, dot, 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 right? So basically what this does is that when you're actually hitting this keyword, it would go and find the tags that closely match that, which could be uh, multiple things. And then it would actually search against these words manually too. So it would search a streamer, it would search Atrioc, it would search Cutie Cinderella in your database whenever you search Ludwig. We don't want that shit. We, we actually want similarity embedding because that this tags thing in theory is baked in to this, right? Because what we did here was that we said that Ludwig is a streamer. He knows Atrioc and he knows Cutie Cinderella. So that means that these things are highly semantically linked is what we call it, right? So when something is semantically linked, it's closer in vector space to something else than something else is. So then like a penguin or something like that. So that should already be in theory in our data, our vectors. So we shouldn't need to worry about that. 